Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. As you know, nothing beats a good boxing movie, and that's what certainly Hands of Stone is coming to you in a theater near you on August the 26th. So make a mental note of this as the man who plays Roberto Duran in this film, uh, along with Robert De Niro and Usher. He is Edgar yeah. Ramirez. Good to see you, Edgar. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Thank you so much for Thanks having for me. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, no, what, please. When did you first meet Roberto Duran? I met him in... 2013 in April, and actually, I'm, he has a bar in um, a bar slash nightclub in in Panama. So that was my first encounter with him. So you went to Panama. I went to Panama to meet him, and then uh, and then I moved to Panama to start training for the film. So basically, I lived in Panama for over a year, between training. And, and 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 the filming of the and of the movie. How often was Duran involved with your training? Well, I started training with his sons at first, you know, to start my because I because I, I didn't box before, so I was training with his sons before um, uh, before moving to the slums where he grew up, and training with the trainers that 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 were from you know the area and the context where he grew up. Because the thing is that for me it was very important to get in touch with the reality that surrounded him when he was a kid. So who, so, who is Roberto Duran? Because you know Edgar in this country, Yeah, how he's remembered. Yeah, of course. He's remembered as a guy who quit against Sugar Ray, said no yeah. mas, and that would, be, that would be the end of that. Yeah, yeah. So who is Roberto Duran? Now that you've met him, you've played him, you've hung around him? I think that Ro Ro Roberto him buddies a very interesting combination of rage and tenderness at the same time. So he's like a like a kid um, with uh, with a heart of gold and and with instincts of a shark and uh, and, and 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 as I said before, the combination of the rage and that that childlike um, element was really, it was very revealing to me. Mm -hmm. um, the movie's gonna tell about that infamous uh, quit. No mass. No mass, yeah, the no mass uh, fight. Actually, that's the, that's the, um, the movie revolves around that fight. That's the most important fight in the film. And, um, and then we will, I mean, there's not much that I want to reveal now. No, I know, because I really want to delve into yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, Usher plays so movie, Sugar yeah, Ray. Yeah, he was amazing. And De Niro yeah. plays your trainer. Ray Arcel. Ray Arcel. Yeah who got out of the boxing game yeah and Shortly got after. back got well yeah. he got out of the boxing game, but got back into it when he saw when Durant. he saw Durant, yeah yeah fighting Huertas and that's uh, that's in the film so you're gonna you're, you're gonna see all that process how Ray or sale and and Durant met and the and the circumstances um that surrounded that 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 encounter it's um so I'm do, very excited so I guess then let's just Try and going around. Well, I know try. I'm going around. The I yeah. feel like I'm rope a doping with you right now. I feel like I'm going <laughs> ten rounds with you right now. I'm with Edgar Ramirez, who plays Roberto Duran in the new film Hands of Stone coming out. That um, what did you learn about Duran with the No Moss that you perhaps did not know before? The thing is that one surprising thing about that No Mass is that um, he didn't quit. You know he. He might have quit the fight. I mean, he stopped the fight, but he didn't quit. And that's something, um, um, you're putting me a little bit against the ropes on this. Yeah. But yeah, because I don't want, I don't want, I mean, the movie's coming out okay. very soon. But um, but I think that uh, it's going to be very uh, surprising to a lot of boxing fans to learn all the pressure and the, and the, and the excruciating circumstances, you know, um, around the fight, you know, and, uh, and all the people involved and all the, the, the push and pull and all the, the forces. I mean, when you see, when you see two fighters in the ring, that's, that's all you see. You see two human beings, there are two men fighting each other, but there's a whole infrastructure behind them, mm -hmm. you know, and that also puts a lot of pressure on them. Okay. So it's very easy. Um, and that's something that I learned, you know, I mean, and, and now that I go to, to fights and now, I mean, having become a fighter, not a professional one, but I had to learn how to fight and become a fighter before, um, um, before portraying this character. When you, when you see, when you, when you hear people screaming things at, at, at athletes, you know, like do this and that and throw that jab, do that, like, like, like thinking that they know better. And now I really relate to that, to the pressure, because sometimes the audience becomes another opponent mm. to the boxers. 
Well, I, and I appreciate your answer on yeah. that. I think, but, but bottom line is on this line of subject, yeah. uh, you're saying no moss. For huh? me to, you're saying no moss. Oh, no, no, no. Don't on, worry, on. man. I mean, I got I got the mental. I like uh, it. it. It's fine. You know, I don't, you know, <laughs> it's, it's okay. I keep it. So with you with Duran, have you been to fights with Duran? Have you actually? Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Recently. Yeah. Recently, I went to I went to Vegas to watch the Canelo Can fight. With so Roberto I, with Duran? him. I had the privilege to be with him, on, you know, in first row. He was commentating the fight mm -hmm. to me in my ear. It was amazing. Well, so, so you're watching the fight. Yeah. With Roberto Duran, with Roberto Duran and he's in Vegas. Tell, but he's telling you what he's like showing you the technique. He's, he's, of what's I mean, on. no, what, what he's telling me is that th this kid is doing this. He shouldn't be doing that. Um, something bad is gonna happen. Uh, he said this one is lining really fast, but the other one is pretty strong. Look, he's very, he's very strong. He's taking it, and then he he kind of like predicted a little bit what what happened that night. What do, you and, mean, uh, what do you mean? Predicting? Well, because the thing because the thing is that um, they know. I mean, as we were discussing before they they see they see the matrix yes. because they've been there you know so they see things that we don't and that's the thing about athletes and sportsmen and, and, and you know sports athletes in general that they have they have abilities and qualities and they have a heightened perception of reality that we don't yeah when i'm watching a football game with say marshall falk pro football hall of famer and he will say just by looking at the formation is they're lining up go, quarterbacks going under center yeah. And he sees the way the defense is lined. He'll say, "This is a touchdown." Yeah. And then, honestly, eight times out of ten, yeah, he's right. right. He's right. Yeah, that he'll happens. even call an interception. It's yeah. coming, and yeah. then all, either it doesn't happen because the ball uh, goes off somebody's hands when they should have caught it, or there is an interception. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen it happen. That's the art. That's the art in, in whatever you do, and that's uh, and that's the thing with 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 you know uh, high performance athletes they're artists in my opinion yes you know i mean it, it goes beyond just i mean of course you need to train and training is everything but they have a talent that we don't and uh and and for me as an actor it was amazing to try to to explore to explore the life and the and the hardship and the and the and the struggle of a of a boxer i mean for me it was it would have been impossible to portray this character without without getting as close as possible to the hardship of being a boxer. And then what's it like being in a boxing movie with Jake LaMotta? The man well, who man, was Mr. Raging Bull. Imagine, now, I mean, having, having Raging Bull in your in your corner, that was incredible. That was amazing. What a huge privilege. You know, that De Niro's uh, doing his thing. He's doing his thing, and he's on your, in your corner. He's your trainer in the film. And uh, and now, not calling Bob. You call you know, him Bob. Calling Bob. Hey, Bob. You know? <laughs> I still, I still pinch myself, you know, it's not... Now, did he tell a, you, call me Bob? Or did you hear others calling him Bob? And then just, it just yeah, came Yeah, hi, up. Bob. It just like, came I, he, he introduced himself, so, hi, hi, Bob. Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Bob, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no, there was, it's been, and then we did Joy <laughs> together, the other film. With sure. David Russell when we played, you know. Uh, right. He played my father-in-law, you know, so he had the chance to... To, to get to get back at me. What was it like being in this the uh, reboot of Point Break, which I had a reboot saying before, uh, that just celebrated 25th anniversary of its first it was great, ever man. version? I, mean, I belong I belong to that generation. It was 13 when that movie came out, so you do the math. So it mm -hmm. was 25 years ago in '91, mm -hmm. and uh, and immediately became I mean it became a cult film outside of the U.S. right away. I think that it was more successful. Uh, overseas than here, and then it slowly started to become. I mean, to to reach the cult status here in America after after it was a huge success outside of the country, and uh, and for me it was great. I mean, Bodhi was a uh, Bodhi was a character that I always felt very attracted and fascinated by, and to have the opportunity to first to work with Catherine Bigelow in Zero Dark Thirty before, yep. and then because I remember when we when, when we met when we met for Zero Dark Thirty, we spent probably. The first half of the of the meeting just talking about Point Break because it was such a yeah. great fan <laughs> of Point Break. So now let's talk about Bin Laden, you know. Yeah. Um, but um, but then and then and then a few years later, having having the you know the opportunity to portray him, actually I called her. I mean, before I said yes, I called uh, Catherine. Mm -hmm. I said, Catherine, I need your, I need your your, your blessing. blessing. And then the godmother gave me her blessing, and then I said yes, let's go do this. So movie. you you needed to call her before you said I will take this of role course. in the second of version of Point. Yeah, Brown. yeah, of course, because you know it's uh, that's what you do. You don't do that. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. talked about Caddyshack too moments ago. Like some, I was, you don't yeah, want, yeah. <laughs> that that's not the reboot you want to be in. You uh, know what no. I mean? <laughs> but uh, well, I, I don't know. No, no, but yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, and uh, the Bourne Ultimatum you've been in. So yeah. which Zero Dark Thirty? Uh, which 
has been the toughest training you've had to go through for the a toughest? film. Toughest? Yeah, uh, Hands of Stone. That's it. Sure. End yeah. of story. Hands of Stone. Yeah, yeah. Because the the things that you, as I as I told you before, I needed to I needed to become. There's no. It would have been. It's. You you don't you can't imagine those things. I mean, you can't reproduce that state of mind uh, if you if you don't feel it in your body. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a more it's a more it, it, it's a physical thing that then it would be it would trans eventually translate you know into acting. You need to become a fighter first. Or for me that was the case. I couldn't um, I I couldn't even try to portray this character without having gone through the struggle of, of being of being a boxer, you know, to try to understand that sure. experience, you know. Well, thanks for coming on here no, and talking about this. And congrats in advance of this movie. It looks Thank you so awesome. Much. Yeah. Looks awesome. Coming out on August 26th. Yes. It's uh, Ray Arcel is going to be played by De Niro. Usher Sugar plays Ray Leonard, Sugar yeah. Ray Leonard. And you, yeah. Edgar Ramirez, playing... The man with the hands of stone himself, Roberto Duran. Thanks for coming in oh, here. Thank you very much. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.